Good morning. Just dropped off my kids at school and it's errand time. Oh, look at that sun, it's all weird. It's time to run errands. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I have three different stores that I have to go to, but I don't have time to go to all three today. I need to go to Trader Joe's, I need to go to Costco, and I need to go to Giant. I may have to go to Harris Teeter as well if Giant doesn't have what I need. What I thought would be fun would be to um, show you guys what I get at each store each day. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you like that idea, give me a thumbs up, would ya? And subscribe too, if you haven't subscribed yet, because I'll show you every time I upload a new video. Anywho, um, I just don't have time to go to each store every single, to, to go to all three stores in one day, because, I have stuff I need to get done and I just don't have a whole day to dedicate to it. So I think if I knock out, it's like incremental progression, right? Knock out one and then I'll still have the rest of the day to do what I need to do at home, to do my work and, you know, another errand or two if that's what I have to do. So anyway, come along with me. I'm going to show you what I get at each store each day and we're going to knock this out together. I love taking you guys with me. Okay, come on, let's go. Here it is, this is my grocery haul from Trader Joe's. I'll tell you at the end how much I spent, but for now, let's dive in and I'll take you through everything I bought. Let's go from left to right. First, I got some sockeye salmon and um, this is wild Alaskan salmon and Alaska cod, wild Alaska cod. Um, these are frozen and they're good. They work. My husband is a very clean eater, so I always like to have some fish frozen on hand. I mean, fresh is best, I think, but for us just having this in the freezer stocked and ready to go, you can see it's not too pricey, 648, 524. I can bake this up. He can throw it on top of a salad and he's good to go or however he wants to eat it. So that's that. I got some organic acai puree packets. Um, they're just, you can't really see them in there, but they're four. They're like a rectangular shape in there. Those are good just to toss in smoothies. And they're unsweetened, so they're super healthy. I got some string cheese, excellent protein source for the kids and for me. French fries. We always like to have those just in the freezer for a quick side dish in my house. I got two jugs of milk and two boxes of the rice milk and the reason usually I just get one but I spend way too much time in the grocery store and which can end up to spending too much money in the grocery store that's not cool so I find that if I lately I've been stocking up buying two of each and it keeps me out of the grocery store because these are things that we really use a lot in our house and if I have them on hand and happen to need something else I'll say oh I'll wait I can wait to go to the grocery store but like milk one of my girls eats a bowl of cereal every morning for breakfast we use this for smoothies and cereal for one of my girls who has uh, um, dairy sensitivity and this too I like that for smoothies too but I only got one of those so I doubled up on the milks and I'm glad I did it because it'll keep me out of the grocery store. This is something, I don't know how long it's been in Trader Joe's, but I saw it today and got really excited. So this is, oh shoot, I meant to get Greek yogurt. Oh well, I got blinded by the grass fed. <laughs> but this is plain whole milk yogurt made with um, organic milk from 100% grass fed cows. Now, I got excited about the grass-fed part. I'll let you do your own research on why grass-fed is great. I think most cows are grass-fed, but you just never know unless it's certified on there. Same with meats too. Um, like steak, you find you a grass-fed steak, it's delicious. And you get all the benefits and all that good stuff from the way they were fed and taken care of. Anyway, I'll let you look into all that. But anyway, it's organic. I'm going to use this. It's plain. I'm going to use it in my smoothies for a protein boost. Look at that. Eight grams of protein. Um, the sugars are only natural sugars. Nine grams of fat, right? That's kind of a lot. And six is saturated. But a serving is one cup. And I'm going to do a half a cup in my smoothie. So I'll still get four grams of protein, which is great for... A smoothie and getting filled up with a smoothie okay anyway I digress <laughs> as usual um, 
I got some pizza dough. This pizza dough is like, I think it's like a dollar and some change. Excellent deal on that. My kids love it. And so I have that on hand for a dinner. Maybe something fun this weekend. Um, we'll do that. We'll see. Um, some sweet Italian chicken sausage. I think this was on my last Trader Joe's grocery haul. I had never seen it before in the store. Maybe you guys have in your own Trader Joe's, but we cooked it up. My husband loved it, so I got another one just to have on hand in the freezer or the refrigerator for a quick meal. Um, I sh you know, want to know what I do with this? I'm going to link below, um, and I'll try to remember to link it at the end of the video too, this quick dinner that I make with this kind of sausage. Oh, it's so fast and so easy and perfect for a weeknight. So I'll make sure that's on hand for you so you can see it after you watch this video, of course. You've seen these in my grocery hauls plenty of times. Hash browns, one of my girls, actually two of my girls, love these for breakfast in the morning. So I always like to have those in the freezer ready to go. I got some cat treats for our kitties. Um, and I, I they're opened up. Um, and I just wanted to see if the cats liked them. They loved them. They gobbled them up. So if you have cats, it says holistic and natural. What all is in there? I wonder if they have... It's anchovy and sardine meal is the first ingredient. They were happy. Those cats gobbled them up. Anyway, I think that was like $2.99 for that. Um, oven roasted turkey breast, obviously for sandwiches. Chicken burritos. These are frozen also. Again, one of those things I like to have in my freezer ready to go for a quick meal like this. You know, if there's after school activities or something. Or if we have to come home and then leave again, but we come home to eat dinner. This is a good deal. Um... I like, and, and all three of my kids like these, believe it or not. That is not often when all three of my kids really enjoy the same thing. That's a winner in our house. All right. Um, yo this is the yogurt smoothie. Um, again, good for a protein boost. I don't drink those, but one of my girls does. Um, I had my grocery list sitting out this morning and my youngest daughter came and wrote ice cream <laughs> on my grocery list. So I grabbed that for her. And I think what we're going to do maybe with this is, I don't know, maybe make like some homemade cookies or cookie bars and then let them make little sundaes with them. Put the ice cream on top with some chocolate syrup or caramel drizzle and some whipped cream. They'll love that. So I'm going to have to put that to the back of the freezer or it'll disappear and even look at this this is one of those things milk made from cows not treated with rbst that growth hormone so i feel good about that when i get an ice cream that doesn't have that or any dairy product for that matter okay maple syrup now i typically like to get my maple syrup at costco because it's such a better deal a way better deal than anywhere else and i actually listed that and a whole lot of other great costco deals that are just the best of the best no grocery store price even trader joe's dare i say can compare um i'm gonna link that video for you too so you can see that um all the good deals at costco to be had but we were out i'm not gonna get to costco for a while so i just needed to make sure i have this on hand because tonight in my house we're doing breakfast for dinner and you have to have maple syrup for that coconut milk um, I don't always buy organic. That's just what Trader Joe's has. This is a new thing to my spread. Um, I have never bought this before. This is an organic extra virgin oval spray, and it says it's nonstick cooking spray. I hope that's the case. They did have a coconut oil spray and a canola oil spray. They were all nonstick, but this was the only one that didn't have a propellant in it and soy lecithin, if that's how you say it. Um, and my husband tries to stay away from soy. So I'm gonna give this a go and see how it does. I hope it really is nonstick. The only ingredient, look at that, is extra virgin olive oil, organic extra virgin olive oil. I don't really care that it's organic, but let's see how that works. And it was $2.99, not a bad deal for a good quality product like that. So we'll see. If you wanna know how it, how it um, works, leave me a comment below. And after I try it, I'll respond to your comment, of course. Okay. Cereals, um, crunchy cinnamon squares, frosted flakes. One of my girls said, where are the frosted flakes? So I had to re up on those. Another one likes these. We're honey nut Cheerios people too in my house. Um, Trader Joe's does have the honey nut Cheerios, but my girls don't prefer those. So I have to get the ones with the B. <laughs> And I'll get those at Costco when I go. Great deal on those, too. That's actually on my good deals list on the video that I'll link for you. Okay. 
Um, these mini cheese sandwich crackers, my kids love those. Organic peach mango juice, a big favorite in my house. Um, apples, those, I did get the Fuji's right. Yeah, Fuji apples, those are our favorites. Avocados, um, wild blueberries. Here's a little tip for you if you're one of those people that loves to get organic things. I'm big on organic too, um, but look at this. I get organic because the pesticides give me the creeps, right? But look at this, free of pesticides. So why not? And they were a little less than the organic ones, a, less, a little less expensive. So I went ahead and got the ones that aren't organic, but they don't have pesticides. So I feel good about that, um, that purchase. Okay, let's go back over here. Did I skip this? I, I think I didn't say it. Organic strawberry fruit spread, great on toast. I got the Ezekiel bread. I don't know if you've had this before, but this, it's, it's flourless, right? It doesn't have any flour in it, but it does have, it's good. I love this stuff. It has sprouted wheat, so it, it isn't gluten-free by any means if you're a gluten-free person, but it's low glycemic, and it has lots of good whole grains in it. Here I'll show you. Sprouted wheat, water, organic sprouted barley, sprouted millet, malted barley, sprouted lentils, sprouted soybeans, sprouted spelt, fresh yeast, and it does have wheat gluten and salt. I'm sure the gluten is in there to help bind it together or whatever. Who knows? Anyway, I like this bread a lot. Highly recommended by a lot of the health foodies as well. It's good. Nice and hearty. Um, okay, let me get back. <laughs> Pesto. I was in Costco and this girl came up and said, oh my gosh, where's, oh my God, did they stop selling the pesto? You know, if you go to Trader Joe's and there's something that you really love, it might not be in there the next time you go in. She was horrified at the thought of their fresh pesto not being in stock, but here it is. I love this stuff. I said, look, it's right over there. And I grabbed one while I was at it. I do make my own pesto, but I do like to have a little convenient one right on hand. Um, I actually have a video on my own pesto. I'll show you that as well. If you don't want to make yours though, this one. Excellent mm -hmm. alternative. Ooh, check this out. These are irises. Aren't those beautiful? You mean, I mean, they're obviously not opened up, but once I put them in the water, that tight little flower will open up and it'll be gorgeous. Talk about an inexpensive way to treat yourself. These flowers were $3.99. I love a fresh flower. And with spring looming, may already be here by the time you see this video, fresh flowers make me so happy. And for four bucks, why not? Broccoli florets, you've seen this on my hauls a bazillion times. I like to roast this up for my family. I don't know why I don't have two. I always get two because there are hardly ever leftovers. And here, look at me, I only have one bag. I said, where's the other bag? And you know what happened? I was talking to one of the Trader Joe's employees and must have not realized that I didn't grab two. Man, I can run my mouth, obviously. So, I'm going to have to get some more broccoli, fresh broccoli florets for my roasted broccoli, and I'll link that video for you below, too. Kind bars. I, I kind of get it, kind of. <laughs> I stopped getting these for some reason, but I like them. I don't eat them every day, but I like to just keep a snack in my purse because I don't do well when I get hungry and these because they have some they do have some sugar in them but they're loaded with protein and they have fiber I'm sure and when you pair it with something else like healthy let's see if these have fiber do they yeah oh look at that seven grams of fiber right I mean it's just a nice snack to have on hand in the car a big bottle of water with it and maybe like an apple, some apple slices or a banana, and it'll hold me over until I get to a real meal. Okay, sliced French bread or French brioche. Oh, I make my Nana's French toast with this bread. My kids love it. They gobble it up. It doesn't have a chance when I make it. So I'm gonna do that for my girls um, soon enough. Pita bread. We love this with hummus and tabbouleh and we'll slice up some cucumbers and falafels and have a meal with that. Um, and flour tortillas. I always have these. Always. You've seen them in my grocery hauls a million times because we have taco night. We have 
easy dinner night with quesadillas. We did that one day this week, actually. All three of my girls had, no, two of the three had cheese quesadillas, and one of them put chicken and cheese quesadillas, and then they had either a salad or some fresh vegetables. Oh, such an easy weeknight meal, a quick one. Anyway, okay, so that's my whole grocery haul at Trader Joe's. The total cost, let's go over here, it is $132.01. P.S., excuse my excuse the band-aid first of all i got a little scratch on my finger but excuse my nails i know they need to i know they need done so don't even <laughs> soon enough they'll be gorged and then maybe i'll post a picture on instagram of when they look nice but i like these this time because let's see can you see the little bit of glitter in there that has nothing to do with grocery haul but it's just subtle the little bit of glitter in there and i liked it I mean, I'm not all wild and crazy or anything, but I did like that. Anywho, okay, maybe I'll post a picture of my nails done on Instagram. Instagram, I'm on at um, the real Creatively Bambi face. No, 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 at Creatively Bambi on Instagram. Facebook is the real Creatively Bambi. Twitter is Creatively Bambi as well. So follow me on there, and I'll give you a nail update amongst other things. I like to post fun pictures and stuff on there. Okay, you want to see the reusable grocery bags I used? I've been doing so well lately remembering my grocery bags. I've been nailing it. I'm proud of myself. Um, this one, isn't that cute, from Whole Foods? I love it. That's one of their newer ones. Then I have this nice burlappy one from Glen's Garden Market. That's the DuPont Circle one. I love this bag. Look at those nice thick handles. We've had this thing for about six months, and it has not worn out at all. Nice sturdy bag from Glen's. Locally owned. I love to support them. Another local place of ours around here. Yes, Organic Market. That's walking distance from my house. And I love going in there. So there's one of their bags. And this from a bigger chain from Giant. That was from the fall. They had the pumpkin-y bag. So anyway, those are my reusable bags. Trying to keep it green and relatively clean-ish. Anyway. So this is about 24 hours later um i dropped my kids off at school this morning and the plan was to just run into giant real quick to get this before i went and did this <laughs> you see the manicure is much much better than what it was yesterday well of course i walked out with this so i'm going to show you what i got by the way if you want to see what else i got while i was at the nail place with my manicure go over to my instagram at creatively bambi and or my facebook at the real creatively bambi and i'll show you what i had along with this manicure you're gonna like it i sure did anywho okay so here's what i went in the store originally to get was our favorite taco sauce because we're gonna have tacos one day next week um again like i said i walked out with this so let me show you what all I got. This is some chicken nuggets. I kind of justify getting them because they do a good job at marketing all the good stuff that they do. No hormones, no steroids, no antibiotics. So one of my girls likes these. This is really good for just like a quick and easy. Oh, there you go. Focus. One of the, This is good for just a quick and easy dinner one night. Um, so I grabbed those um, for the kids' lunches. They really like these cheddar and sour cream baked chips they like these better than the ones that aren't there so i happily grab them especially when we're on the, they're on sale this is our junk cereal that we all love crispy cocoa rice oh you've seen that on my hauls before and it was on sale it was like two for four two for five so i got two i'm gonna hide one of these boxes because it'll be gone before the weekend's over you guys know how that goes right okay i got some mayonnaise um some dijon mustard this is a seasoning a creole seasoning that I read, oh, I wish I could read, I wish I could remember who recommended this, but I heard it was good. I've never bought it, but I'm going to try it out. Um, my husband likes heavy seasoning, lots of flavor in his food, so we'll see how this is. No MSG, too. Look at that. Good stuff. Okay, this, Jason's Body Wash. This was on sale. It's usually like 10 bucks, 11 bucks. It was on sale for $6.99, so I snagged that. I should have got a couple of them, but I only got one. These chocolate chip bars granola bars rather my kids like those in their lunches um so i grabbed two boxes of those um this is the nature's promise organic 
these are croutons. I got some unsalted butter for some baking we're probably going to do this weekend. Look at this, you guys. I don't know if everybody else has seen this. Look, you know, like they have little fruit cups. Well, look, it's a little corn cup. <laughs> We we'll only have one kid that likes corn, so I thought that would be cute for her to have, like, with her dinner one night or something. I like corn, too. And it's organic. Corn is heavily genetically modified, especially here in the United States. It's just the truth. I'm keeping it real. So I don't buy corn unless it's organic because it creeps me out. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, mangoes. Okay, well, hold on. Let me give you a little background. Okay, that stuff... I got at Giant. After my manicure, I went to Harris Teeter and grabbed a few other things. I got some mangoes, some Sun Chips, Pirate's Booty, and this was a really, really good deal. Ground turkey. These were, I got four, so I'm gonna pop these in my freezer. It was $5.99 for one, but they were buy one, get one free. So I got four, and this will last us about two weeks, I'd say. So anyway, that's my little haul. Nothing major, but it's going to pair with everything I showed you yesterday. This was day two of grocery shopping. This was two stores, so I've now been to yesterday's and today's was two stores. So that's three in two days. It's the story of my life. I'm not going back next week, I'm telling you. I'm just not. And now for my third and final haul in the last three days. Yes, I have been to grocery stores three days in a row, but I will not be making any trips to the grocery store this week. I'm not kidding, I'm not gonna do it. Organic strawberries, these are frozen. Uh, we use those for smoothies in my house, you've heard me say a million times. I also have two dozen cage-free eggs asparagus. I actually saw this on um, She's in Her Apron. Kimmy actually had these in one of her recent grocery hauls. I'm going to link her channel for you below. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, but I saw when I saw it, I said, oh gosh, that's what she got. And I was totally social media influenced on that. Um, I also have some old time honey wheat bread. This is one of my girl's favorites. Since there's two in here, what I like to do is I put one in the freezer as soon as I get home. And then when we're low on this one, I'll pull this one out and it tastes just like it would have tasted as if it were perfectly fresh. So there's those two loaves of bread and they come in one big package together. Also have a rotisserie chicken. This looks so beat up. They didn't sell it to me like that. It actually tipped over in my car. Lucky for me, it tipped over on one of the mats in the car, like the rubber mats, so cleanup was really easy. But look at this on the inside, what it looks like. Oh, you guys, talk about an easy dinner. This is so good. And when it's on all the meat is off of there, when we eat it all, I boil the carcass. Oh, and I make my own homemade chicken broth. Anyway. So there's that. Also have some marinara sauces. Those came two together. Um, I have almond butter and maple syrup, organic baby spinach, some dole mandarin orange fruit cups, and I like to get those because they're in 100% fruit juice and it's just a convenient, nice little snack. And look, ooh, non-GMO too. And then also have some honey nut Cheerios um, and some milk. Also, um, the Kirkland bath tissue, aka toilet paper, and paper towels. Um, these are just, and they have amazing quality. I love them. They do sell name brands in there, but I find that this Kirkland brand is just as good, and it's less expensive. So those are always a staple on my Costco hauls. If you do want to check out some more about Costco. I recorded a video recently where I tell you all the absolute hands down best deals at Costco and those I'm going to link that right here for you. I take you through the store with me and I actually show you the prices on all of these things and why, well not this. Actually this was on sale today. This was like six dollars and some change for these two giant jars of marinara sauce and in my house we really, we really, I mean, we have sweets, but we try to not, we try to be careful about the added sugars in other products. And look, we like this one because there is no sugar added to it. And, and you know, and in a lot of the, a lot of the pasta sauces you'll find out there, there'll be a lot of sugar added. And well, maybe not a lot, but just added. And if you want to cut back, you got to look for stuff like that. Same with like fruit cups. 
if it's not in 100% fruit juice, guaranteed there's sugar in there. Like, why are you having sugar added to my fruit? No, thank you. Anyway, I digress. Um, that's that. So I'm going to link the video over there for you. And it's done. What'd you think of that? What'd you think of all that stuff? You know, that isn't, that's not just like a week's worth of food or two weeks worth of food. A lot of those things are going to last us for longer than a week. So that's why I get them the way I get them, especially like the condiments and the things from Costco and stuff like that. So tell me what you think. Did you like that? Coming along with me and seeing all that stuff. Oh, I would have never had time to do that all at once, but you know, it is what it is. And P.S. Excuse the look. Okay, first of all, it's cold. It is 36 degrees is what the temperature says right now that it is outside. Ugh. I cannot wait until we are in spring and late spring is the best, just like early fall is the best. It's so great. I'm excited for that. And I'm also excited for summer in the pool, okay? That's all I need in life. Give me a magazine. My kids swim, and that is all I need. Oh, it's so nice. But anyway, it's cold out now, which is why I'm all bundled up. But the hair is kind of gross, too. Whatever. Anyway, I need to I need to have a hair washing day soon. But it is what it is. Let's just keep it real, folks, right? So anyway... Thanks for hanging out with me today. I like taking you I like taking you guys along. It's fun. I love seeing other people's grocery hauls too. It's so cool to see what other people are feeding their family and their kids and stuff. So anyway, that's it. It's a wrap. Thanks for checking in with me. If you liked that video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and check over there. I got some more of the videos for you there too. All right.